Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really cute swirl design that my customer brought in. We are going to be using an inspiration picture that she got from Pinterest, I believe. Um, I don't know exactly who the artist is, but if I find it, I will leave it tagged in my description box just to give her credit. I'm going to start off by applying her base. This is base number 348. This is a sheer pink. It is buildable, so if you don't want it to look as sheer, you can put more layers of the pink. But at the end, the result will be still a little bit sheer because this color is meant to be more of a natural pink. going to be using our art gel liners for this nail design and then this is the picture of the inspiration that she bought and I did find her at so I just linked it right now I'm gonna start off with number 19 this is a light blue with our art gel liners they are really pigmented so they are specifically meant for drawing so it makes the nail art really easy the the consistency of it is not really too watery and it's not too thick so it gives you a lot of control so that for example whenever you make a line it's not just gonna like run everywhere or like spread it stays into place until you cure it also you don't have to be adding multiple coats of this um to get it like to the color that you want it unless you want to but um the pigmentation is high enough to where you don't have to Also, since this design has a lot of swirls and like kind of different effects to it, um, I'm going to be doing it by parts. So for example, right now, I'm going to do all of the blue and then I'm going to cure it and then I'll move on to the next color. So I'll see you guys when I'm ready to use the next color. So now that I'm done with the first color, I am going to be curing this for 60 seconds under the LED light and that's so both of my colors don't marble together since I am putting them right next to each other. So the next color I'm going to be using is our number 22. This is a purple.
And with our Archa liners, you could do really thin lines or you could do thicker lines depending on the pressure that you put on the brush. Also, another little tip when you're drawing, you don't ever really want to have too much paint on your brush. Um, sometimes when you do have too much paint on the brush, you don't have as much control as if you just have just like a regular amount so that whenever you draw, it's not like dripping everywhere or just spreading too much. Now that I'm done with the second color, I'm just going to be carrying that for 60 seconds and I'm going to be going in with the final color. So for the final color, I am going to be using number 8. This one is a soft baby pink. And again, I am going based off of a color that my customer brought to me. I will be leaving her ad linked in the description in case you guys do want to visit her page. And as you guys can see here, you know, I did start off with more of a thin line and then I went ahead and I thickened that up as I needed to. So if you guys are having issues drawing or with nail art and stuff, I highly recommend that you try out our gel liners. These are only $9.99. They will really help you with the nail art because of the brush. It's so thin and it's so precise and the gel is more pigmented than regular gel polish. So it really makes for a really easy nail art. So this was my final color so I am going to be curing this for 60 seconds under the LED light and then I'm gonna, now going to go in with our glossy top coat. She wanted to do glossy but of course you can also add matte if that's what your customer or yourself wants. 
If you're interested in our gloss at Top Coat, it's 100% recommended. If you follow us on Instagram, we have tons of reviews on there. If you want to go to our website, which I will link below, we also have lots of reviews of our products. You just search up the product, click, the, click on the product that you're interested in, and if you just swipe, I usually try to post all the reviews that I can on there and also lots of product photos. If you are not local and you are interested in shipping, I also do shipping. I ship the order out within one to three business days. So this is the final look and a really nice close up to our products. All of our products are for professional use and also beginner friendly. So if you are interested in our products, I will leave everything listed in the description box. Thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next Friday.